the largest energy efficiency programs in New Orleans is trying to expand its footprint here in the city while helping residents reduce theirs. WDSU meteorologist Quaylen Murphy talks to one of the group's greenest members about her quest to become more self sufficient. There's new growth taking place in Orleans Parish, and the footprint it will leave is green. I have cherry tomatoes, cauliflower, cucumbers, hot peppers, mustard greens, collard greens, and Swiss chard. Linda Howard is one Orleans Parish resident putting the brakes on her carbon footprint by planting her own garden. The program is organized by Greenlight New Orleans. I actually knew about them because of the light bulb exchange. So she sends me emails frequently and asks me, did I want a garden? And I'm like, yes. So here I am. The goals of Greenlight New Orleans are simple. To help people lower their carbon footprint um, and live more sustainably by growing their own food at home. The program has helped to build almost 200 vegetable gardens so far and hopes to build 500 over the next two years, but they're not stopping there. Over the next 10 years, um, we're really ambitious. We're hoping for 20,000 vegetable gardens. New Orleans East and the Lower Ninth Ward are two areas considered food deserts, but this program's focus is a little broader. Um, but we do serve all of Orleans Parish right now, um, and we don't have any limitations on our program. You don't have to live in a food desert to benefit from our program. Um, it's totally free for anyone who needs an extra hand getting started. While the program is free for the public, it takes money to keep it going, roughly $400 per garden. To continue the program, we need to raise money. So we have our fall fundraiser, and it's very easy. People can go to the website, people can call us. So it's greenlightneworleans.org. Uh, that's the same spot where you can apply for a garden. It's a small garden bed that everybody can take care of. People say, oh, I don't have a green thumb. No, that's not true. You can do it. On your side in Orleans Parish, I'm meteorologist Quaylen Murphy, WBSU News.